In this tutorial, we're going to be covering audio routing inside of PvP3. All of our audio options are found in the Preferences menu, and there's two different ways to get there. Number one is you can come up here to the PvP menu option in the top left and select Preferences, or you can use that keyboard shortcut Command and Comma to open the Preferences panel as well. You'll see here when it opens that there's a couple different options here across the top, and we're going to select the Audio option. Once we've selected the audio tab, you'll see here that there's settings for time code, inspector output, and also the main output. So we're going to be looking down here specifically at this main output options at the bottom of the audio tab. First up is the channel count. So if you have any form of audio output device connected to the computer, you can actually change the number of channels that you're outputting from PVP. So you can see that this is kind of by default two, which would be similar to a stereo output. And you can click this button or enter a number to get all the way up to 16 channels of audio coming out of PVP. Up next, you can change the audio delay. So if you need to delay the audio coming out of the program, you can do that here as well. And then next up is your actual audio output for the main output of PVP. And you can click the drop down item here next to device and you can choose your output. You can see here that I've got a Scarlet 6i6 connected. So I'm going to go ahead and select that option. And just below that now, you're going to see the channel routing option here. So when I click on channel routing, it's going to open this window here that's going to allow me to route all of the audio channels from within PVP, of which there are 16 to choose from because that's what we set up there, to any of the output channels for our device. Now you'll see here that the Scarlet only supports up to 12 channels of audio out. So that's okay. Obviously we've got 16 channels here in PVP that we want to play with to assign to those 12 channels for the Scarlet. Up in the top left corner of this window, you can click on that and select auto map, and that's going to just automatically map channel 1 to 1, 2 to 2, 3 to 3, all the way through for as many channels as you have. So you'll see here that once we get to channel 12, it's going to have to repeat because there's no more channels to output on the device. So channel 13 goes out channel 1, all the way down to 16 going out channel 4. Now what if you don't want this and you want to map specific channels here in PvP to specific channels on the device output? That's fine as well. You can very quickly clear all of this that you've done up here by clicking on the top left corner and then selecting clear. That'll clear out all of the routings and then you can actually come in here and you can click individually to route separate channels to separate outputs on the device. And you can click anywhere in here. You can click and drag if you want to do a stream of them or whatever you'd like to do there as well. You can choose individual routings for each of those channels. So we'll go ahead and clear that out as well. You also have the ability while you're working in here to mute a particular channel. You can solo a particular channel if you need to make sure that you're actually getting audio from that channel. Or you can also use this T button to send tone down that channel so that you can confirm which channel you're actually mapping as you go along doing these steps here. So that's a very quick way to see how to map individual audio channels here for your main output. But what if you wanted to actually map individual clip audios to separate channels in the program. So we'll go ahead and leave this setup here in preferences and close that. And you'll see that I have one video here that's actually just an eight channel audio test. So it's just blue screen video, but it has eight channels of audio. If we look at that in the inspector and we'll open up our video here, then we can navigate to the audio tab in the media inspector. And you also have the ability to do channel routing in the individual queue level. So when I click on channel routing here, you'll see that my media channels are set from one through eight because I have eight channels of media. And then you'll see that here I can map those to my PVP channels one through 16. So very similar to the previous window we were looking at, you can click up here in the top left and you can choose your auto mapping or you can clear everything out. And then you could, if you wanted to say, actually, I want channel one of this audio to go to PVP channel 16. And you could change your routings this way as well for these individual channels. So we'll go ahead and clear that out and then auto align that again so that it's the default setting there as well. So that's about it for audio routing within PVP. Again, all of this depends on, in, for your main output, this depends on the number of audio channels that your output device can handle. So if you're outputting to a USB audio interface, that would be your limitation there. Or if you're outputting over HDMI, uh, it depends on the version number of HDMI as to how many channels that HDMI cable can 
output as well. For more information and to find out other tips and tricks for PvP, you can visit our tutorials and also our knowledge base found at www.renewedvision.com.